So in this fourth under video, we have another viewer request vehicle, which is the Weasel 102. It was viewer requested by King Noob 9959, which was basically we played the good old Toe Weasel. So the Toe Weasel is finally achieved. I did have to research it whenever it came to the tech tree. It was one of those that I kind of just left alone because I don't really think within War Thunder ATGM vehicles are any good within the game. This thing's 9.7. If you want a light tank or if you want something that can scout, you have the Radkamp wagon, which I honestly just believe is just a better tank in general than anything a Toe Weasel could ever be. But we will be playing it. Now, it is completely stock. I mean, I did play a couple games in it, but we don't really have much whenever it comes to the modifications. And that's because, well, I just researched it. And also, before the end of the line vehicle change, it was not really a vehicle I actually wanted to play. So kind of we're getting a new experience with it. The only thing is that it's not a huge new experience because I played tow missile vehicles in the past, you know, especially stuff like M113 for China, CM25 as well. And they basically all play the same except for this one only has eight tow missiles and it's very, very small. So as you can see here, this camera right here is completely just for you guys to see the vehicle, but we are going to be playing it in the most meta defining fashion ever. And we have become a bush. So yeah, this is a tow weasel. As you can see, we're literally a bush. There's not much whenever it comes to this vehicle. It actually looks like a tank. And it's it's a tow launcher. I mean, there's not really much else to really say about it other than like it does have a really, really small silhouette whenever it comes to the vehicle itself. I do believe it actually has pretty good gun depression being at negative 20 with the launcher tube, which I'm pretty sure it can only go like about, yeah, it can only go about that far. So you can't go completely, you know, 360 with the missile itself. but you can get into weird spaces, especially since you have 20 degrees of gun depression on at least the launcher tube. Uh, for most of these vehicles though, whenever they say that they have really good gun depression whenever it comes to the tube, there's usually some sort of dead area that you have to look out for, which we'll definitely try to see if we can spot within this. But yeah, 100%, I'm not really, you know, expecting for the AT gym vehicles to do well within War Thunder to be honest because if you didn't know recently within like a couple of updates ago they nerfed these vehicles heavily like the the vehicles themselves are not that great anymore because the AT gym changes that happened you know a couple of updates ago and what they basically did is they kind of made them a little bit more realistic whenever it came to actually using the AT gym themselves which in Always be an interesting thing, like we can get some scouts right there. But it, it's basically put these vehicles in a very odd spot at a very high BR. You know, as you can see, there's there's an M1 KVT that was, you know, down the street from us. And we're in a tow machine. Like, it, it doesn't really feel that fair when it comes to the end of day with things. We also have, like, that one right there. But, yeah, I can't really see. You don't have the thermals or anything. Try to get the AT jump. Okay, we got a striker. I don't... Uh, we did get the... Radiator though, we didn't get much though. Hang on, let's see if we can get another missile coming in. There we go. First kill. As you can see right there, the missile drops down a little bit, so it's a little bit odd to actually aim this thing, especially whenever it comes to, like close quarters, because you're not able to like twitch shoot like most other things can. We got even more coming. Ah, see, that's the, that's the thing about this. You can't curve them like you used to be able to. And so basically you have to just wait till people kind of sit still and kind of do their own little thing. There we go. Get the good old T-80B out of the game. Good thing this map is a very defensive game though, because if we're having to attack, we might not be doing that well. But yeah, the question whenever it comes to the little weasel is definitely the, the thing of do I, would I rather have just a gun? Also, this is really dumb. But would I rather just have a gun, you know, like a 105 L7 on some sort of light tank or have this AT jump? And for me, at least, I feel like just having a random like light tank like the TAM or even stuff like the uh, Rat Camp Wagon is just going to be better. Because I, I, I kind of feel a little bit lost whenever I'm in this like city right now, uh, just waiting on enemies to like come in. Oh, no, there's a tank. Oh, come on. Please didn't see me. Please don't see me. You also have to stop to shoot these AT gems, which is also kind of bad. That's a, it's a M1 KVT. And I knew it. I knew it. Come on. Yeah, move, move, move. Okay, there we go. Get him scouted for our team. It's going to be so hard to actually curve these things. Hopefully the M48 Super 
is looking here. It's probably not though. There we go. But yeah, another situation where if I just had a random gun of any caliber, I would have been able to kill the air bombs. But I'm having to like fight my ATGMs to actually work for me, which is not great. It truly isn't. Hopefully though, like I don't really like this game in particular because we're kind of playing it the way I wouldn't want to play the weasel. We're kind of just in the middle of everything. Like we'd want to be on the flanks of the maps and everything, but this map doesn't really offer that. Except for if you go out into the, like the little shipyard area towards like the six or seven line. But if you do that, most of the time you just won't find anybody because no one ever goes there. Then you'll just have other issues. What is this? Oh, it's Estrella. No. Oh, it's another AT gym. All right, we're down to three. At least we're getting some good scouts. So this is like a really good vehicle to play if you want to get like according to intelligence or something like that. Because you're able to just kind of play it a little bit passively and not really do much. So we will talk about the missiles in uh, probably the next game, maybe, but we might talk about them, you know, pretty soon because like it does have three types of missiles. You do have the tow, which is what we're using now, the tow two. You also have the tow two B, which is the top down attack missile that can that it can use, and then you also have the tow two A, which is a tandem warhead missile. So they all have their uses. To me, at least, whenever it comes to the tow two. There's not really a huge reason to get the tow 2 a Now you may say, but dog, it goes through it goes through ERA bricks and all that sort of stuff. There's, as as my memory serves me correct, there's not a vehicle that you can actually pin after you get rid of the ERA brick with the AT gym because they both keep the same amount of pin, which I believe is around 800 and something. Yeah, 800. So you're not going to be able to pin, you know, crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we just go straight through the ERA of that, and this is just a tow 2A. So, yeah, that is kind of just what it is most of the time. I also got a Crescent the Moss somewhere. It's a very scary little vehicle because he's basically me, but has a radar and has probably thermals, and the missile is probably honestly okay. What is that thing out there for? Oh, a heli again? Oh, we try to get him. If we're not trying to get this heli this time. There we go. But he's going to get us with his rockets because, as you know, they can just see the AT gems coming, which is always really, really cool. So before we go into the next game, I do want to touch on the fact of the Toe 2, the Toe 2 8, and the Toe 2 B because I think it's very important that we show these off because they're kind of different in what they kind of do with their Warthinger. So the Toe 2 is your basic one. It has 800 millimeters of pin. It's the same amount of pin as the Toe 2 A, but the Toe 2A has a tandem warhead AT gym, which just means whenever you're shooting at vehicles, like let's just say, for example, the T90, which is a vehicle that you can see in the tow or in the tow weasel, you can have you know situations where the Toe 2A will give you a more reliable hit whenever it comes to the armor protection on the front. As you can see right here, the middle portion of it with the Toe 2, you cannot pin, but anywhere where the ERA is not touching, you can kind of pin whenever it comes to that. The Toe 2A. As we can see here, it gives you a little bit more reliability whenever it comes to shooting through the ERA. But at the same time, I don't really think that's going to be that huge of a thing because you got to think about it, right? So if I'm at this angle and I accidentally hit just right in this area, right in here, it's not going to pin because of the ERA brick, which is always, you know, a kind of a bad thing. So at least for me, I like to just say that the toe two is good enough uh, whenever it comes to the toe weasel. And I would recommend actually going towards more of your, you know, upgrades like airstrike, stuff like your engine, you, can go, you know, kind of getting on the sides of maps and then come back and get your Toe 2A once you're, you know, in a better spot whenever it comes to mobility. Now, I do want to show off the Toe 2B because I think it is very interesting whenever it comes to War Thunder. And sadly, I do not have it for the uh, Toe Weasel yet, but we do have it on the Bradley. So we'll be able to show it here. Yo, hang on. We might as well. Oh, we do. We are shooting both. Oh, I didn't even know I shot both. Fair enough. But yeah, here's the Toe 2B. For me, at least on Toe 2Bs, I like to aim for the turret ring of tanks and majority of the time I go above them and then it will shoot down into the tank itself. This is a really good feature. For example, if you have a tank that is behind cover, you can just aim for like the turret ring or aim for the hill and then it goes above them and shoots down into the tank, which makes it a little bit easier to do. Now, the thing about that is, is that it can have a double negative to it whenever you uh, do that sort of thing, because there's some vehicles which have 
uh, very weird hitboxes, and I can show you one right now, which is the AGS. The AGS with Toe 2Bs basically cannot die if it's pointed this way towards you. Because look at all the crew, all the crews back in this area, and each time that the AT Gym go off, you'll just hit the engine and this upper part of the tank, which is always a little bit of a bad thing. But yeah, that's the toes. It's kind of explaining them a little bit quickly. And let's get on to the next game. So another map that's not really a map that we can use our wonderful Toe 2's mobility of flanking on. But we will try to use it a little bit effectively on Sun City because there's some positions as we almost flipped there on a little bitty curb. But uh, there's some positions on this map you can definitely use to your advantage, which is one or two that we're coming up around now. The only thing about these positions is, is that I would prefer to have a gun. Like uh, the, the ATGM I think is going to be too slow for these positions to actually be useful. And I would rather be in like a TAM or be in anything else than a weasel right now with a, uh, with wonderful toe twos on it. But you know, it is what it is. You know, we're doing it for the gameplay and everything. Kind of showing it off. I want to see what this dude's going to do. Because it's going to determine what I do as you come this way. Okay, he's going that way. Let's see if uh, he sits up where I may have set up. We also do have thermals now, which is going to be great. So we'll be able to at least see the enemies. There's one right there. There we go. Go ahead and get the 2S38 out of the game. The only question is, I'm not sure if I can use this position because this is a position that I normally use for um, guns and like bino shooting. Let's see if we can get up here though. I'm not going to see my commander view though. But yeah, there's no way you're like looking at this being like, that's a tank. That is that is just clearly a bush. And uh, for, for the people who are like, well, dog, you know, normally people won't have these types of bushes and everything. I do agree. Like, I, I feel like that's one thing that people don't understand is that I think that these bushes, whenever they were sold back in the day, they should have been, like, took away from players and you were able to get your just money back for them. It, it's it's really sad that, like, only some people got to keep these and then some people uh, were not able to. Which is uh, always not great. Ow. It's an Abrams. We tracked him. The only thing is he's got a 50 cal and I am uh, very scared of 50 cals. See if the M1KVT is actually going to push. The dude to my left over there should have like a more of a shot, especially if he's able to push around. Okay, so he's not like hugging the uh, hugging the corner, which is kind of bad. All right, question: Can I make it across this little highway? I wish this dude would have, would be looking. I want to make it across and so jump down to the, uh, to like down in there, get across and see if I can get a shot on the Abrams. Okay. I was able to make it. Let's go see if we can get into, ow, into a better position. Can we even push this down? I really do not want to have to waste a tow missile for this. Can I MG it? No. Plan is ruined. Day is not great. There's a heli too. Ow. Where even is the heli? There she is. Now we get our AT gem ready. I overshot it. We tried. This is also a negative of this vehicle is that you just don't have enough to actually get through these like barriers without wasting an ATGM. You can get these little fences though. Okay, there's a hole up here. Any other tank in the game that's not a little weasel, I could have just like broke one of these fences down and uh, got to the position I want to go to. But with this thing, I had to do some extra steps with it. All right, so Alpha is going to be a big no-go zone. There's an Abrams. Should probably going towards Bravo. If I can help our teammate out here. Did he move up, like, up, up? I think he did. Oh, there he is. Okay, he did scout him, which is good. Hopefully. Okay, there's another one I need to worry about more right now. I mean, it was something. Oh, 
Once again, ATGMs rule the day. Two times, two vehicles. If I just had a normal gun, it would have been 10 billion times better. So here we got a lovely spawn camper. We got everything but like what we needed to kill him with. Which is always not great. Get out of here. Okay, so it's looking like our team is not doing well. We're in a tow weasel. So we're definitely not coming back with this game. So I guess while we sit here and wait for this game to just finish while we're just waiting on something to show up in our crosshairs. Let's, let's go ahead and start like the ending of this video. So what do I think about the Toe Weasel? Honestly, to me at least, I don't prefer it and I do not like it. And I, I know like it has its place in time. It's going to be a really good scout and everything. But in War Thunder, scouting to me at least is one of the lowest priority things in the game that you can possibly ever do. I mean, like majority of the time, it'd be better off just getting kills. Uh, like you would be able to see enemies scouting sometimes works if you need help with enemies all that sort of thing but the, the, the tow weasel at least to me like anything that's with ATGMs now I want to have some sort of backup gun like the Bradley's 25 or the Warriors 30 or you know just different vehicles that can do different things like we went from a very long day of you know tow missile launchers being able to shoot down jets but now they barely can even hit tanks whenever they're even on the move which is always not fun you know fun whenever it comes to everything so yeah honestly i'm not that of a huge fan of the tow weasel it's a really interesting vehicle to play i think it's kind of fun to play you know it's a very different play style compared to majority of the top tier stuff that you'll ever find but for me at least like if i look at my lineup right now the leopard 2k would always be one of the first spawns the rad camp would always be a first spawn if i needed something that could get you know to speed and go on a flank of something the tow weasel, I feel like it's just one of those rare vehicles you bring out if you need like a third spawn or you just have a really good map that it can, you know, hold down a position with like tow two bees. But yeah, you got to get it spaded to get to that level. So yeah, what do you guys think about AT gems? Is it something that you're actually enjoying right now? Because for me, at least I've pretty much gave up on all AT gem carriers with the War Thunder. Most of them do not even go in my lineup anymore whenever it comes to like tow launchers. Stuff like for Italy, you know, the wonderful, you know, the tow, the M113 tow, where's this thing at? I just don't even care to research it. The China ones, gladly enough, I got them spaded before the AT gym changes came in. And they were honestly pretty good. I mean, uh, well, like the KD on them is like CM2549 to 116 and then the 59 to 80, which is always, you know, interesting thing. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations whenever it comes to... Uh, vehicles you want to see played on the channel make sure to leave them in the comments and i will see you guys in the next war thunder video